I noticed you have the clams lined up now. Are they getting ready for the races? Absolutely. We've got them all lined up here, and we'll just give them a little bit of peace and quiet. And uh, then, as I've explained to you, you know, they open up, and out comes that little foot, and they dig a little hole, and then they just go ahead and disappear. Hey, there goes one. If you see the very large clam there on the back row, you can see his foot trying to come out, and he's maneuvering around a little bit, and he's going to start to dig a little bit deeper. He's going to try to pull himself up so that the uh, edges of his clam will be able to go right down into the hole as he digs it. You can see how he's wiggling around trying to, to get his foot down deeper and deeper into the sand. And each one of them will do the, the same thing. So what's that other thing that's sticking up squirting water, I know it's? Okay, that's a siphon, and that does indeed squirt out water and will squirt at you periodically. What is that doing though? What, what's the purpose of that? Well, it's used in their circulating uh, seawater through their system so that they intake nutrients so that they can grow. Boy, that's curious. There's another one going. Now we have one in the other row there that's starting to do the same thing, turning on his edge. Part of the clam that has the least resistance to the sand. Blowing bubbles. Hey, we got us three. Now we have another one in the front row that's uh, also turning on his uh, head, pulling his foot down and trying to straighten himself up and dig a hole. There he is. I think that uh, that little guy that's going there, I think he's going to be the winner. On the left there, uh, I think is getting ready to start to do something because he just spit uh, some water out of his siphon. Oh, here comes the tide going to be it. Just a tiny little piece of the shell still showing. And that's it.